Let's create some custom particles. More in-depth topics for Minecraft modding available in the 121 modding courses linked below, covering writable and tameable entities, custom entity armor, and even custom entity inventories, among many more awesome topics. Alright, we found some back and tell you once more, and in this tutorial, we'll be creating custom particles. So last time, of course, we have seen how we can spawn the particles right here via the server level. This time, we're going to make not only a custom particle type, but also we're going to spawn them via the, well, basically via the client so that it's only like a client only. So in this case, what we're going to do is when you right click the magic block right here, right now, of course, we have a playing of the sound right here. We'll also do it so that the level itself spawns it, you know, quote unquote via the client. So that it works a little bit different than the send particles, but we'll see that in just a bit. For the time being, first and foremost, in Count Road Tutorial Mod in the package right here, we're going to create a new package called Particle. And inside of there, we need two new Java classes. The first one is going to be the mod particles class. And the second one, the this is going to be the specific particle we're going to make. Now, in this case, I'm going to make bismuth particles. Now, here, it, it, this is sort of a, it's just an example, obviously. Because in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to basically take the same texture. Now, it's going to go into a different folder. Don't worry. So, in theory, we're going to take this texture over here and we're then going to display that as a particle. Now, obviously, this would already be possible if we just used the item, like the item type, right? So, in the, when once again, in the chisel item, we've seen that there's a particle block type of a block particle option. There's also an item particle option. So, in theory, we could also already do this. But just as an illustration, we're going to use the bismuth particle, but you can take any texture you want and, but yeah, basically do that. But we're going to go through all of the steps. We're going to start with the bismuth particles over here. And this one is going to be quite interesting. So this will extend from the texture particle, texture sheet particle over here. We're going to hover over this and implement the method, the get render type method. We're going to hover over this again, create constructor matching super. And we're going to choose the second one, quite important over here. Then inside of the constructor, here is where we can add certain or certain parameters or certain properties to our particle. So if we do this dot, you can see there's actually quite a few things that we can in theory change over here. So for example, we can add a friction over here that's going to slow this down even if it adds a certain speed. And of course, I'm pretty sure if the friction is below one, then it would speed up. If it's above one, then it slows down. But here, once again, as with everything, just play around with the numbers. So one thing that's quite interesting, for example, could be the this dot lifetime. This is how long this particle lives for. So if you say, hey, I actually want this to live a little bit longer, then you, for example, put an 80 and now it should, in theory, until it decays, take about four seconds. So that's a couple of things. But one more thing that we need here is we need to set sprite from age. And for this, we need a sprite set. Now, where do we get this from? Well, we can actually change the constructor a little bit and then we can get that. After the double Z, we're gonna add a comma over here and we're gonna make a sprite set and we're gonna call this sprite set. And then we can simply add this into here and we're gonna be good to go. <coughs> you can also change the color. So you can say R call one and then we can duplicate this two more times for G call, which is going to be green. And then can you guess what the other one is? Exactly B call, which is going to be blue. So you can even recolor your particles if you so choose to. In the get render type, very straightforward. We simply want to return a particle, particle render type. And this is going to be of the particle sheet translucent. And then we also need another class, which is going to be a provider. So this is inside of the bismuth particle class, public static class. I'm going to call this the provider. This will implement the particle provider of type simple particle type because in this case, we're just making a simple particle type. This is going to have a private final sprite set. In this case, we're going to call the sprite set over here. We'll then hover over the provider over here to implement the create particle method. We're going to hover, uh, we're going to hover over the sprite set and add a constructor over here. That is exactly what we need. And now inside of the create particle method that is being created over here, we can return a new bismuth particles, passing in the level, the client level over here, passing in this is going to be, uh, let's actually rename this so you can see that they are named V1, V2. Not good names. This would be PX. This is going to be PY. This is going to be PZ. And then the next doubles are the speed. So this would be PX speed. And then we have PY speed. And then we have PZ speed or PZ speed. Uh, do note, of course, that as per usual, all of the code is also going to be available to you down below. So no worries there at all. 
and then we're going to well just go through and basically pa pass those in this uh, sprite set is then added here and then px speed and then we have py speed and then we have pz or z speed there you go and that is the entire class done like i said inside of the constructor itself you can do all sorts of crazy stuff i highly recommend also click on the texture sheet particle Control h and take a look at a couple of particles that exist right the crit particles for example you can see they do all sorts of crazy things i, I i'm telling you just play around with this a little bit and see those even have gravity so you can do all sorts of crazy stuff with particles and the best way to basically i mean figure out everything here is to just play around with them and look at some vanilla stuff with those done we now need to register them in the mod particles class we're going to have a can you guess it exactly a public static final deferred register of type particle type particle type of type question mark is going to be our particle types equal to deferred register dot create this is going to be for built in registries dot particle type and then of course tutorial mod dot mod id as per usual with the deferred register we're going to have a public static void register method with an i event bus over here and then we're going to call particle types dot register event bus and as per usual once again i will repeat it one more time all of the code is available to you down below and then of course when we have this we then want to call the register method in our tutorial mod constructor over here very important so mod particles 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 there you go register passing in the mod event bus and then we can actually properly register this very straightforward as well public static final this is going to be a supplier of a simple particle type and there's going to be the bismuth underscore particles equal to particle types dot register the name here bismuth underscore particles this is quite important that this is written correctly particles there you go and then a supplier of a new simple particle type and then here we can do a true or a false uh, overriding the limiter over here i believe this makes it so that they are always displayed uh, and also depending on how many there are when you have the minimal um particle options enabled then i believe they they are always shown so you play around with this as well that is always a good idea as well all right before we can spawn them we do need to do a couple more things and the first thing is to register the particle uh, or the, the particle factories and to do that we're going to go down in our tutorial mode class to the client mode events and we're going to make a new event uh, basically method over here public static void this is going to be the register particle factories with a register particle factories provider ev oh sorry a register particle providers event what a freaking name there you go of course as always don't forget the add subscribe event annotation extremely important it needs to be public static void inside of the client mode events over here and there you go and then very straightforward event dot register sprite set this is going to be for mod particles dot bismuth particles dot get and then passing in the bismuth particles dot provider dot uh, cone colon new and there you have it this is going to now register at the factory and we can now spawn them however how do they look like we have not defined this anywhere exactly and this is defined via the assets so in resources assets tutorial mod we're going to make a new folder or a new directory called it's extremely important particles particles with an s at the end instead of here we make a new file called bismuth bismuth underscore particles dot json and the contents are going to look super simple they are simply this it's simply a list of textures basically and this points to tutorial mode colon bismuth now it's extremely important the name of the json file right here has to match the name that we're giving the particle type right here so those two have to match and now where does this point to but well, this points to a texture namely in textures new directory called particle notice that in the tutorial mod folder it's called particles that contains the json file and in tutorial mod textures we have the particle this is singular i know it's stupid but this is how it has to be it has to be written exactly like this it's super easy to make a type over here to name one of them particle one of the particles or you know mix and match everything this is the way that it has to go and then here we're going to take the bismuth png now you can also literally just take it from the item over here that's fine but here we have the bismuth png so obviously just this guy right here and the idea is that the name of the text right here has to match the name given in the json file and that is what it points to and that's it now we can actually spawn our particle and we're going to do that in two places 
we're going to basically just do the same one in the chisel and just go crazy with it as well. Why not? So let's just uh, copy or duplicate the dolphin over here. And instead of the particle types dolphin, we're going to have more particles that bismuth particles that get. And then just say that maybe they're going to be a little bit of a less of a speed and maybe down one like 0.5 over here. That's going to be fine. And that's going to also then spawn a bismuth particle. And we're also going to spawn them via the client, like I said, or, you know, not via the server, let's say. And that's going to happen in the magic block. So there's going to be block, custom, magic block. And then right here, very straightforward, we're just going to say level dot add particle mod particles dot bismuth particles dot get. And then we need to take the position, get x plus 0.5, position dot get y plus 1, and then position dot get z or z plus 0.5 again. Once again, the 0.5 is because the actual position is always the bottom right corner of the block. So to center it inside of the block and then above it, we want to go with a 1 for y and a 0.5 for x and z. Then we define the speed. Let's just make it, you know, move upwards. And there we go. So via this, we're going to have it move upwards with the speed of 1. And you can see this works a little bit differently from the send particles where you also define the, the position. But then you also have a count, interestingly enough. And then here, this is an offset of the speed. So that's quite interesting. This works a little bit differently. But yeah, there, there you go. And that's basically the idea. And with this done, we now have our bismuth particles added. And they should spawn once when we basically right-click a magic block. And also when we use the chisel over here. So let's remember the game and see if it works. All right, friends, we're back in Minecraft. And let's just take a look and chisel this block. And you can see there are some particles. And you can actually see they will, well, they will stay here for quite a while. Well, because we defined the lifetime of them to be 80 ticks. So they were going to stay there for four seconds, which is quite long. And here you can see this also works. And I mean, look at that. That is so freaking cool. They're just going to spawn over here. That is pretty neat. And like I said, you can replace the texture with whatever you want, right? It doesn't have to be an item texture. It can be whatever texture you so desire. But there you go. That is custom particles added to Minecraft. Awesome. As always, all of the code is available to you down below. But that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll modify some vanilla loot tables. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.